In GTA Online, you can do anything you like whether it's making money from business, PvP, doing fun glitches with friends, car meets, and even having a, a drive in freeway with Spotify playing in your ears. This game gives a player a freedom to do anything they want to desire. However, what happens when the wrong person takes advantage of of freedom and use it to destroy other players fun which in this video i'm going to be introduced to you if one of her was if not the most hated type of player most players experience in gta online the griefer the griefer is a type of player who likes or takes their pleasure by taking away players enjoyment like destroying cargo ruling a car meet interrupting pvp battles and even if you're not near them you could be from, they could be from a city and you could be from Pluto Bay. They will choose to ruin your day whether they feel like it. The question a lot of people, a lot of GTA community will ask, why would anyone do a horrible kind of act? It's pretty simple. And I'm going to be explaining in two different sides. One is the game side where I explain how Rockstar promotes griefing. And the other side, the player's decision. So, so sit back and enjoy this video. When Rockstar added the first business in the finance of Felony, they were very concerned about how easy it would be for players to make a lot of money and didn't want to make the game too easy and make shortcuts completely useless. So what's their solution? So their solution to slow down the players down is to add a feature that gives other players to destroy cargo and be rewarded with $2,000 along with ammo. However. Rockstar also added some uh, added some feature that also prevents players griefing in the past. For example, if you destroy enough personal vehicles, you will go to bad sport and be put in an exclusive lobby full of other bad sport players. Another example of Rockstar not only trying to prevent griefing but also kinda made a mistake is adding a new weaponized vehicles or features that prevent other players getting griefed. Unfortunately, these big vehicles and Features will also be used by griefers to take advantage. For example, many players and GTA community complain about how OP the Presser Mark II with their missile tracking along with the with a no, no requiring skills to use the Presser Mark II. So, what's Rockstar's solution? The answer is simple. In the Kea Perico Heist DLC, Rockstar introduced to a new weaponized vehicle called the Torado. This vehicle not only has a good missile tracking, the missile also has infinite are also infinite which means never runs out along with a boost feature and can turn into a submarine it also doesn't have an exclusive icon show on the map so you give a player a surprise and also has good armor although this vehicle is really good it did got used in a wrong hand and the griefer will use this vehicle to blow up players without need to worry about running out missiles and it can drive away with the help of a boost another vehicle i want to also put out in uh, the list is also the in the contract DLC, Rockstar added a, lot, a new a new vehicle upgrade called a Mani Tech upgrade. There are two. One is a remote control, and one is the the missile lock on, missile jammer. Now, when it comes to the missile lock on jammer, it was a pretty good to counter any vehicle that has a missiles. However, Rockstar also added a a remote control vehicle feature, so you, players can go off the rail permanently and hide in the, their money tech vehicle. And because if you and if you blow it up, not only you had to pay for the insurance, you also won't get the kill. So therefore, it's pretty much um, an easy way for the griefer to get away. And to top it off, there's also other remote control vehicles. So if they need to wait, they can just go into another another remote control vehicle and just continue the cycle and be off the rail without needing to try. So what I'm trying to say is that when there's a new problem, instead of um, nerfing the vehicle itself, Rockstar just adds another overpowered vehicle and adds a new problem in GTA Online. Now that I went through the features and added content for Rockstar, I'm going to be going over the player side of a griefer. There was one mistake that the one community made with the griefer by the grinder community is that the griefer is technically a tryhard when it's completely false because the tryhard will go after someone who's much more better than them or similar to them and there are even some tryhards that do make money whereas the the griefer they'll go after no, 
not after anyone, no matter what. The only difference is, I will say, is that the Griefer tends to go for a lower player, like the low skill players, so therefore, that's more of a... So therefore, that's more of a Griefer kind of style, where Tryhards, they go for more the opposition. So, so here it is, that's my reminder. There are a few reasons why players grief, and there are a few of them. One is pretty simple, and that's because they like to troll other players and get the reaction, whether it's angry messages or voice messages. Bro, I'll tell you what, you fat little cunt. Sometimes they can go further and upload video on social media of them blowing up cargo or car meat and makes and make simple excuses like it's just trolling. When they completely use unfair advantage on someone who is minding their own business. I guess it's not about the money, it's about sending the message to let other players know you're the biggest c in GTA Online. Another reason why players grieve is because they're the victim of being grieved. You see, getting grief is in, in GTA Online or other video games. It's also part of life. And we as humans had to accept that we are going to get grief no matter what. Unfortunately, not everyone can accept this. So what's what is the solution? Is to become the person who caused the problem in the first place. And that's where some players become griefers because they they lost all the money they made from the cargo and no other players care because they're probably doing their own their own thing and probably mind their own business. And that's when they cross the line and going from a victim to a villain. Now in the present day, Rockstar has learned the player's behavior and had to come with solutions. Kimi has been asking, such as ability to do all business invite only sessions, as well as some cargo giving you option to steal or just not show on other players' icon. Rockstar also nerfed some of the OP weaponized vehicles like the cannons on jets, as well as nerfing a Presser Mark II with bad missile tracking, increasing cooldown with chaff. Even though all these things are good and actually improved the GTA Online experience, it will not change the player's behavior and no matter what circumstances they had to go through, they will find a way to use exploits to gain other players, other players skin. The only so solution to prevent getting grief is to a, either find a new lobby or take your time to fight back. There are plenty of videos of GTA YouTubers destroying griefers that you can learn from. However, it's up to you viewers if you're going to accept that you're going to get grief at some point in your life and embrace it. Stay strong.